One of the things we say on Triple D is slow down, take a look around. Another thing we should say is don't judge a book by its cover, like this joint here in Merrick, New York on Long Island, about 35 minutes outside of Manhattan. It may look like a fast food burger joint, but from what I hear, the menu inside's all about real deal and homemade. Got a Tuscan romaine pasta salad. Plenty of upscale meals that you wouldn't think you would find here. And the name and the appearance from the outside complete contradiction of what's going on the inside. Salmon teriyaki to sell. It started off as a greasy and easy with chicken fingers and wings and fries, but real quick, folks started asking for more. Our customers say, hey, when are you going to throw some wraps on? Got a barbecue pork wrap, yellow rice. The wraps are really good here. And how about some of your salad? Teriyaki salmon salad ready to go. Tony knows what I like. Shrimp up for the mechanics. They remember you. I just love having a welcoming environment. How are you? They make you feel like family. Because this joint is family. Is that the boys? Yeah, that's the boys. Your wife works with you. Grilled chicken Caesar for you. And your son's one of your chefs. Yeah, Brad. Steak panini from the press. And they're all cranking out family recipes. Penne vodka. Like this fan favorite. Spaghetti squash topped with Tony's mom's red sauce. What are we making? We're gonna make a little marinara sauce for our spaghetti squash. Fire it up. Heat up the saucepan, up in a little olive oil, chopped onions and chopped garlic. Just want it to brown up a little bit. Okay. A little pepper, a little salt. And this was the recipe that your mom taught you. This is what we did every Sunday in our house. There's some fresh crusted Italian tomatoes. San Marzano? Yes, sir. So this has had a chance to simmer. Now what? Some really good Parmesan. Right in the sauce now. Right in the sauce now. And I'm gonna add a little fresh basil. We had a little Chianti. That's really a little. And then I'm gonna just simmer this and continue to stir. All right, so. Now let's cut the spaghetti squash. Fantastic. OK, now we're going to boil these. Not roast them. It's just a different flavor. OK. These will cook for 10 to 15 minutes. Now the spaghetti squash is done. So what are you going to do now? I'm going to spoon out the seeds, and I'm going to fork out the flesh. And we'll save the shells to stuff later. What are you into now? We're going to saute some veggies for the spaghetti squash. Give me the lowdown on the showdown. All right, just heat up the pan, some olive oil, some chopped shallots, some chopped garlic, okay. some onions, chopped carrots, some chopped celery, red bell pepper. So you're going to sweat all the veggies. Sweat them down. So you want to have a little texture to them, but you don't want them to be all the way mushy. Yeah, certainly not. Yellow squash, zucchini squash. Uncooked broccoli and a little uncooked asparagus. And then some pepper and salt, a quick stir. Then I'm going to add some of the marinara salt, just for a little color, because it's going to get a little bit more later in the preparation. You actually not a cook. You're just not another pretty face. <laughs> so that's that. I'm going to take the squash and just pop some of this in here and give it another stir. And then some salt and pepper. And then we're going to cool it real quick. One of these is in order? One of those is in order. That's got to be eight ounces. Too big for you? Can I answer that? We're going to add a little fresh tarragon in there, a little more marinara, and now we give it a toss. And we're going to grab a little bit of the stuffing and pop it into the shell. Oh, it's a bounty right there. Huh? That's good lunch. And then we'll top with a little fresh mozzarella. In the oven for how long? About 20 minutes. You'll see that cheese start to bubble up a little bit. Take it. Good. And ready to go. A little marinara on the plate. It's like a pterodactyl leg. Give it a little more sauce on the top. OK. Mmm. I'll tell you something right now, bro. That marinara is right on point. Mmm. Look at all the juice that's generated right down the bottom of that from those veggies. Mmm. A little bit of sweetness, saltiness of the moths. Mmm. The time, the detail, the energy, and the appreciation for food. Nice job. Yeah, man. Spaghetti squash for you? It's delicious. That was tasty, it's huh? It's like eating spaghetti, even though it's a squash. I'm picking up a spaghetti squash. The marinara is fantastic. The vegetables are fresh and crunchy. Of course, not the mozzarella, because you can't have an eighth without melted mozzarella. The food is always delicious. I've got a lasagna here. It's nice to be able to walk to a place and they recognize you and they shake your hand. Got a little eggplant rollatini. I thought it was going to be good food. I just didn't know that it was going to be great food. Thanks.